Welcome back to Ireland Tea right here on Wind Media SKN. It's still Wednesday, all of today. All day. Wow. Wednesday usually come after Tuesday. Mm. And so it's hump day. But we got a very special guest in the studio. Um, I don't know y'all mm-hmm. saying, but all of guests are very special. Yes, who vexed dead. <laughs> but we have the man himself. We have the man himself. And, 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 and I'll Dr. tell you, I'll tell, 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 tell you something, Jade. Like, you see this young man right here? Like, very proud. I have a lot of respect for what he's doing. Um, and um, for those who are not on the live, on the radio, we have in the studio Mr. Byron Masayo. Byron, what's up, boss? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Mr. Bailey, Jade. Yes, sir. Morning. Yes, good morning to one and all. You know, the one Masayo till you're done with you. <laughs> 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 but Byron, um, I believe that um, there may be Maybe one or two people listening and watching who who may not know who Byron Messiah is and, 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 and what it is that you're into. Um, just let the people them know um, who is Byron Messiah. Well, Byron Messiah is a um, 21-year-old aspiring artist. You're still 21? I feel like 21 for like <laughs> two years now. <laughs> no, man. Very young. <laughs> very young and talented and full of energy and hype, you know? And... Yeah, he's on the edge to be one of the world's greatest thing after COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, mm-hmm. and, and 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 um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you, you, you're putting in work, and I'm sure we'll get to to some of the works that you've been pushing. But um, it's very interesting to me when I see artists who have an obvious drive. To, 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 to make something of themselves coming from a place where there's very few examples of success on the level at which you are you are you're trying to reach. Um, we have some, but I know from speaking to you and just even watching the, the, the work that you're putting in that you have goals um, that are not easily duplicated. Um, but before we get to that, Tell us a bit about where your love for music came from. Is this something that you got into um, in your teenage years? Is it something that you've been doing from the time you're born? Where the journey starts for Byron and, and music? Well, my sister told me the other day, um, I used to hop on top of the kitchen counter and sing a lot and fling down battles and all kind of <laughs> thing. But <laughs> <laughs> the truth of the matter is... Um, the journey started in 2015, actually. Um, mm. I used to mm. be in school, um, third farm it was. Mm. And I used to freestyle a lot for my friends. And I was like, yo, you, you, you're bad, you know? Using the term bad as in um, you're super talented. Right. You got the skills, you could do this. I um, think you should actually put well, something sure. together and continue with this thing. So, you know? so, so l- tell me, at this time, when you, you know, you're in school, whether it's break time, whether it is a free session when teacher income come mm-hmm. and you, you're performing. If at the time, you might not have been thinking of yourself as an artist. You were just kind of <laughs> having fun with your friends. Yeah. That's what was happening. It was just fun at all. I was, never, I was never expecting this at all. I didn't even expect to actually be on um, a poster. You know? Right. It was just, yeah, mad love for it. <laughs> and so you were having fun with your friends at school and... um based on encouragement of your friends who would have seen some talent in you. Um, what was the next step where you decided, by let me try see what I could do with this. Yeah, you yeah. Rec- what was the first song you recorded? Well, um, as I say, in third farm is when I started to really push, but it wasn't mm-hmm. until fifth farm. Um, I dropped um, a hit song. Um, we all probably know the song, um, Japa Leto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I dropped that song, yeah, everybody was like, Yo, who this youth is? At the time I was performing on the beach mm-hmm. with my best friend. I was mm-hmm. actually performing and it was just for like a playground thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I remember the video. Yeah, oh yeah, so he just happened to pull out the camera and start recording and recording, put it up on Facebook and he got mad love from all around and everybody was like, yo, who this youth is? Mm-hmm. We need this guy to continue pushing and from there, yeah, that was it. Well, I remember the video, you know. Um, and at the time, I actually thought you were in college. Mm. I thought you were at CFB. 
And then I asked the question, I was like, let me tell you something. Young people, you see that, that age range between 15 and, and 22, 23, mm -hmm. they, those are the taste makers. Them the ones who dictate what hot and what's not. And when I saw the reaction on the video, I said, yo, this, this thing, this thing. For me, <laughs> I wasn't even listening while you were singing. <laughs> I just was looking at the reaction of your peers, right? And you said this was, it was a birthday party, that's what it was? Yeah, on the beach. Wow, because that, that, that video went viral. I, I remember it. I remember it. Um, so at this point, you started getting calls for performances because this wasn't really a performance per se. You were just like performing yeah. for your friends. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's um, two events that actually made me start to take it serious. That, mm. was, that was the first. The second one was Pram. I did Pram and everybody went wild again. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until, shout out to Street Vibes song mm -hmm. when I said this. It wasn't until Chris... I contacted Chris. We got proud of Chris one time. Yeah, because um, which which event it was Inception? No, it would have been cool. K yeah, cool effect in but, the park. But, but um, it, through the age, mm -hmm. I couldn't. I wasn't able to um, get in and watch that. So he talked to somebody. He got a backstage pass for me and he said, "Yo, we gonna bring you on. Let's make this happen." And was there. when, when I run out, I wasn't even expecting the crowd to react that way. You know, they went crazy, and that's when I know, yo. You got something there. Yeah, this and thing uh, happening. And I think that um, this is important for, for for people listening to, 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 to really get because it's important for us to support our own. It's important for us to support our own, not just because or um, that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But you see what, the, what, what Byron said. The reaction that he would have gotten from the crowd confirmed to him that yeah. there was something here. Mm -hmm. There was something here. And then he, he would have, of course, started working on it. At that, at that point, how many songs they had at that point? Like, just <laughs> roughly. Like, when you were performing, it was just come on and do the one song. Uh, yeah. you oh, no, I did, I did two songs. Mm -hmm. I did um, the Call Me, but Call Me was on release. We all mm -hmm. know the... Next name for Kami, I won't right. say it on here, but right. yeah, I performed that and dropped a letter. Yeah. But at that time, I had mad works out on YouTube. I had like, you could say over 20 songs. Because you had been recording since yes. around third farm. Right. Right. Mm. I had so mixtapes out as well. So at this point, you now have a song that seems to be resonating with the public. I'm um, here in Sync It. Um, promoters calling you, you, you getting. You're getting a squeeze on and a blow from, from some DJs and, and your music playing, whether it is on the radio. I remember it was playing on the radio. And I remember um, DJs would, 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 would play it in the dances. And, and same thing every time um, they were played. Um, Mad Love being shown. Where did you go to next? Is it a matter that um, you decided by... I need to, to to shoot a video. Like what was what was what was the next the next step in your evolution? Um, this was after the um, after I got the Mad Love and bookings. Um, the three events, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, after uh, I said, you know what? Let me take a page out of um, a big artist book. So I was a man. I always look up to Popcorn, mm -hmm. and I used to always watch his work ethics, and I used to be like, yo. I wonder if I put in the works here, if I could be big like Popcorn one day, you know? Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. I saw Popcorn drop uh, an, an album. So, I decided to take it up on myself and say, you know what, I'm going to do an album. I never saw anybody here do it before. So, I think it would be um, a great move. So, right, right, right there, I hooked up with Steven, SMR Project with V, shout out to right. him as well, GT Beats as well, and Banks. Mm -hmm. And we put together an album of um, 23 songs. Yeah, yeah, what the man just said? 23. <laughs> yeah. 23 songs 20 on the man album. <laughs> I mean, I don't do them there, no? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, boy, yeah. right? But I remember, I remember when the album came out. Um, Sai. Yeah, Sai. It, it, it actually is an um, abbreviation for Sai, I got hurt. Right. Yeah. And to be honest, I, I'm going to take this opportunity to condemn the actions of the OR girl. Whoever it is hurt you. Whoever it is hurt you and inspired to sing that song. That girl from Old Road, I don't know what she name. 
and I feel you should have <laughs> said she name in this song. Uh, and, and, and somewhere on the album, just drop it in so we know. We could look back at her now and say, girl, what it is you do? No comment, no, no comment. No, there. but the truth is, the truth is, I won't condemn her, but at the same time, I got to thank her because out, out of that, there we get some good music. <laughs> Uh, listen, <laughs> if you are an artist and you want to drop the songs, some of the best songs of your life, you just need a little heartbreak, a, a little, little heartbreak. bite, a little, you know, a little something. A little depression. Yeah, yeah and a little, not too much, yeah? Bite yeah, make it. Just a sprinkle. Bite yeah. make it. Look at yeah, Sam mu- Smith and Adele and, and these people. Just a little that's sprinkle. Right, that's true. Music is like counseling for us, you know? Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, we went to the, the mic. For sure. Um, I do think that um, once you drop Sai, because of the fact that even there was 23 songs, it wasn't 23 fillers. Mm. It was a lot of songs that resonated with people. But what were some of the songs that you were getting um, really good feedback from, from the album? Um, melancholy. Melancholy. Yeah. I was trying to remember <laughs> if that was the, the, the album where you had that, that, that album release on the roof. Up the village, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. I was, was there, right? And I was listening. I think this might, might have been the first time I've actually paid attention to your music, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Wow, <laughs> this is this is different." I was hooked. Like that same song, I used to play that song way too many times. Melancholy, <laughs> but watch yeah. it. You got to be. Jay, she hated it. Jay, you just remind me of she bite back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have mercy. Don't worry about that. Okay, that was a great song. Yeah. Good. That's life though. Yeah man. It's all a part of life. I think that um we, we, we really saw th- this was the thing for me. I felt that the album came from a very real place, mm-hmm. organic. And I think that's the type of music that resonates with, with people. People like yeah. real. People like so yeah, the talent was there and mm-hmm. everything, but the fact that it seemed as though you could believe what he was saying. You feel it. And I think the album itself was put together really well. Um, again, big up um, um, Stephen, GT Beats, who I know, um, especially at that time, you, you were really close and uh, working closely with and, and like you said, um, Banks would have done a lot of the engineering on the album. Yeah. Right. Um, at that time, I remember, um, just because of you know being involved in bands and things, we really saw a takeoff in, in 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 the in the performances. Um, I, I I also would say I was in a unique position to witness the growth of your performances, um, seeing you get better and better every time. Um, and one thing with you, I realized you were very open to to to, to constructive criticism, and really like, putting the the work in. And and, and I said that to say. You could tell that he had a he had a, a vision for himself, right? That's interesting, yeah. yeah. True. And so you we could fast forward a bit. You would have dropped another project. Um well that's not, not another project, but I would say within the last five months I would have been seeing a lot of music, specifically visuals. Yeah. That's that's something that you're very um um, that's very purposeful, like the, the making sure you're putting out the visuals to your thing. Because I'll tell you something, them videos like movie, yeah? <laughs> them yeah. videos like movie. <laughs> yeah, well, um, it, it's actually a career changer as well too. Mm. Yeah, I would say the more visuals we put out, because in today's time, I realize people rather see things than just to hear. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so it makes sense. We just paint a good picture in the scripts. And give it to the public. Who have you been working with to produce some of these um, the, these pieces? Because, like I said, um, our local talent. Because I'm seeing even some of the people in the videos mm-hmm. is our local talent. I think even that is a, is a, is, a, is something that should be applauded. Being able to offer a platform to some of, some of the local uh, you know talent and personalities. But who you've been working with on the videos? Well, I would just like to shout out to my videographer one time, Tilt Hat. Dude. That's the man himself right now, the man of the hour as well. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. Kijan in Nevis mm-hmm. has been helping me with some of the scripts lately. Hmm. I hear so that. Yeah. The man known just take the camera <laughs> and go sing this song in somebody's condo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, scripts to this thing. And I think that's something that is um, obvious. I mean, you look at me, you look at it like 
because the music is so substantial and has substance like the videos you're able to do so much with the videos and you've really been taking advantage advantage of that um but time time to run us down so quick um but what is it that you are hoping to achieve moving forward like where is what's next for byron uh more good music more good vis- visuals i mean all the works ain't gonna be perfect ain't gonna be pleasing to everybody ears but it's just for the fans and all those that support and share and like i really want to big up to all my fans for sure for sure for sure because they really helped push me this year as well too for sure it wasn't just me alone and shout out to my team as well because you see when you got a great team behind you pushing you mm. and believers trust me you 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 just become golden well before we even wrap it um i asked the big boss aka jade <laughs> <laughs> we could take a little extra time because i feel like we have some things that we should touch on I agree. um mm-hmm. what the pandemic was like for you because i don't have a rent this morning yeah so me and trying to rent again but how did the pandemic cause you to have to shift your plans and what you was doing um you were, you were here when the pandemic hit because not one point you, you, um, you obviously ac- actually came back in time for it oh yeah young young covid come mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we bring it here but no 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 you <laughs> 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 laugh and gigs laugh and gigs jk 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 <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> laugh and gigs eh? but i just say yeah um but um so at that point let's back up a little bit you went to trinidad it was yeah um what would have cost you to 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 take the jump and and go down to trinidad what were some of the factors there well i was actually visiting mm yeah as a tourist mhm and came across some lovely people down there mm-hmm. shout out to Giselle and co um nature was actually in um, the soko monarch as well right so i went to support as well and family. there's there's a there's a bit of a link between the dangog and himself and 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 and, and you right there's a, a, a bit of a link there family ties yeah yeah that that that's that's, that's blood cousin you see there mm. talented, talented family family, talented family. Yeah. <laughs> so you were down in trinidad visiting um at the same time um nature b would have been um down there as well and you know, you ran into to some people who were involved in the music industry down there yeah and, and what 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 would have come out of these relationships that you built <laughs> well, i would say greatness mm. yeah i got i got mad links and mad love while i was down there on vacation imagine that yeah so you gone on the vacation and end up working on your vacation yeah <laughs> <laughs> and only to come back um probably on a high probably be looking forward to maybe pushing some of the works that you would have done there and covid hit yeah was devastating at first but I, I i won't i won't i, I would say it's a 50 50 good and bad mm. because at the same time right this this is the bad we're not we're not being able to um move around and do what we really want to do mm-hmm. in the music like i could have been on tour right now mm-hmm. honestly a small little tour out there etc probably i had like four bookings outside as well mm-hmm. i could have been in Trinidad all now pushing works mm-hmm. machine works what um this is the good thing about it and this is what i love it 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 i don't know if you realize this year in dance and music it took a major drift um most of the hit songs we know today came from underground artists mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it where people was home and they had nothing to do it forced them to look out for explore, new talent explore exactly so mm-hmm. It helped build my fan base. Mm. That's one thing I love about it. So you're seeing, um, just like you were getting support and 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 respect here locally, you're seeing even regionally. Regionally, you're saying, right? Um, people are now gravitating to your music, finding out about your music, right? Oh, so that and that would have translated into hopefully, when this thing pass, right. you know, you're able to capitalize on that. Yes. Wow. Definitely. Wow. So you see, I think that. Um, Never waste a good crisis, Jed. We said we said so this morning. <laughs> Never waste a good crisis. <laughs> we literally said so this morning. <laughs> right. But I wanted to know, like, 
So because you know uh, getting out there originally, have you been able to link with any artists that you've been looking at and saying, these are people that I want to hook up with and do songs? Have you been able to do any of that? I would say, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to give it. I, I can't like, spoil good surprises. I was about to say this is you know? some, like something coming. Yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I can't spoil good surprises. That's okay. That's yeah. okay. We'll take this. Because then we'll it, will, it, it will just be a statement. So mm. guess what happened yeah. now? Guess what can happen now? What do you say? You got to come back on LNT to get the exclusive. Oh, you know, I was coming to that. You're ready to bust this thing. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that that. too easy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's too okay. easy, man. Okay, once you recognize what's going on. Manage? You good? Yeah, All for right, sure, for right. sure. <laughs> I think the question that is on the minds of the people... Uh, right now and uh, a channeling a channeling the vibes that I'm getting from the nation right mm. now mm. okay now where you head by <laughs> 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 the pandemic I just mess with you man. <laughs> 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 it's, it's the, pa- it's the it's pandemic though this is this ain't this ain't this ain't no more right, oh, but <laughs> hey I'll tell you something you see in the toxic video right I see this part of with the sad face with some plots <laughs> <laughs> I look out. Yeah, but that person there looks sad, boy. But me, I say me, I don't buy one. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I want. I believe know. you might have. A, you might have a future in acting. Yeah. You right? might have a future. You might have a future in acting. <laughs> I want to know where the inspiration from Toxic came from. Oh, me, that's um, a different type of. Well, open the man wounds. If it's a, if it's a, if it's one of them, if it's like come along, you know, if it's like the first album, if it's the is inspiration, a, like. It's an old girl. Again, eh? no man, it can't be. <laughs> It's an OR can girl. Be. It always an OR no girl. Can be. He learned from the first one. <laughs> can be. From the first or the third. The oh, third. boy. He's one of them. It's going to take a lot of time for you to understand. No, yeah. you don't want to wipe off. Mm. You don't want to wipe off everybody because it's one. You know what I mean? I mean okay. And then you start to realize, me, am might be in the water, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I think that was a song that um, during, especially during the pandemic, what? Mm. Um, really started penetrating the market. Um, what, like, what, I don't want to ask what's the inspiration behind the song. But what I want to know is, is it that you tend to gravitate towards that type of music? When I said that type of music, that speaks to emotional topics. Mm. Are that, or the, those are songs that you, you tend to, when you're going behind the mic and you hear a beat, that generally what comes out? Yeah, definitely. Well, basically, I sp- Speaking on the words, um, the words, um, how to, how to, how to say it? I don't want to make it sound too, um, but basically, right, every time I go in the booth, I, w- I would write off of emotions, mm. how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling happy, you're going to hear a happy song. If I'm feeling sad, you're going to hear a sad song. So, I guess you could tell I always sad, eh? <laughs> well, so, yeah. well, you're saying that, but I'm going to be honest. There's a song that you're a part of, and... It don't give me no sad vibes. As a matter of fact, I was telling Jade this morning that the only thing that's keeping me from going down the wrong path is the fact that the place don't have to wear hoodies. Because mm-hmm. when you listen to who, and I got my mask, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. by, by, you don't, by, what you, you got school all day. Huh? Don't talk to me too hard. Huh? Things, I'm, <laughs> things I'm pop up. You can't see us, then you got your mask. How we going to know? I was telling you. I was telling you. Mass up, mass up shades on and lucky to have for hoodie. Because if who play? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but what? <laughs> you're talking about who, right? <laughs> what about the fact that he dropped another song in the perfect moment? Because guess what? We ain't got no more parties for no real. No more parties. Everything, everything locked up. <laughs> that, like, song, that, song, that song was inspired by the, by the situation we're in now, I would, I would, I would suspect. No, it was a, it, it's actually a remix, you know, mm-hmm, yeah. of a song. Yeah, it basically speaking about the pandemic, but it was just this girl was telling me, you know, she ain't really want to go outside no more. Like, <laughs> outside is for stuff that belong outside. Right, uh, <laughs> well, it was always yeah. a girl, boy. Always? <laughs> always a girl. Boy. Yeah, come on, only woman could be on my thoughts. What? 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 Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's always a lady. Even a lady inspired me to write, ho, oh, ho. Oh. I mean, mm. we're dealing with. <laughs> you know? You know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but um, I think that um, I really want to encourage people to, especially at this time when there's not much, you know, live events happening, mass mm-hmm. gatherings, to really spend time and explore the local artists. And of course, 
um, Byron Masaya being one because he's been releasing mm -hmm. really good songs. Like I said, like consistently over the years. Consistently. And and and, 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 I, and I would and I would even suggest that the, the the quality of the music coming out now. Who been mixing the last set of your songs? Um, shout out to Stainless Shetty. Shetty back in the mix, bye. Yeah. Shit, the back in the mix. <laughs> a perfect chemistry every time me and him do something. For I ain't sure, telling sure. like as an engineer and think them no sound good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a sound good. I ain't lying. Like, like I, I, I had to ask the question. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had to ask the question. I also got <laughs> a next um, producer as well. He he mix um, two of the songs for me. Um, Toxic and um, Last Forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scuffy. Oh, yeah, man. Big yeah. up Scuffy one Big time. Big up Scuffy for sure with the international sound as well. Yeah, man. Scuffy yeah, Same kind of talent, man. Imagine all of these is and Kittishans. Yeah. Big up Scuffy one time. Yeah. I went to I went to a, a, a workshop one time with Scuffy. Um, and, and again, you could just tell that there are so many people here with, 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 with real talent and drive. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's what I tell people. Yeah, it, it ain't for a lack of talent. The mindset. And what I'm hearing from Byron um, proves that we have artists here who are willing to put in the work mm -hmm. to see the results that they're looking for and uh, i think i think i just want to encourage you um like i said like you've been doing this thing since like fifa um, <laughs> basically and, and well that's mm -hmm. when i when that's when i started seeing you and 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 mm -hmm. i've been seeing you consistently over the years getting better and better and better and better so just big up yourself by around one time mm -hmm. for sure for sure for sure you know i'm still no, supporting you mm -hmm. yes i but um dude yeah, bye. time going but before we go let people know where they could stay in contact with you how they could reach out to you where they could find your music because watch it, if you're listening right now when you're gonna listen to boy one song i'm poor on who i'm poor on me who yet <laughs> make sure you go check out the man music but where we could find your music you don't know you could find me on youtube by messiah tv by messiah vivo subscribe go to every um track comment on your favorite like and i'm on instagram as boy messiah b y r o n m e s s i a so it's messiah without the h basically right right right, right. Yeah. guys take time especially right now you can't go to party you can't go to club we don't curf you Run some local music, run some yeah. Byron Masayo. Better no more parties. No and more grieve. parties, no more parties <laughs> and grieve. <laughs> but uh, Byron, it's been a real pleasure having you like come in here and, and, and have a conversation with us. Um, really appreciate you. And again, just wishing you all the best on your journey. Looking forward to you coming back, like give hitting us with the exclusives. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just much respect, much respect, much respect. Um, and, and, and keep doing what you're doing. 